Okay guys, so we are here in Logic and we've just got a project loaded up here. This is just a part one from my how to make liquid drum and bass series. So if you're interested in that, go and check that series out. It's four videos well worth watching. And I'm just gonna show you here your best source for white noise and just how you can make a quick white noise sweep, easiest way to do it in Logic. So we've got this 32 bar beat. What we'll do, we'll look to make a white noise sweep, just go from say bar 29 through bar 32, just to give us a nice loop round. So your best source for white noise in Logic Pro nowadays is Alchemy. So if we make a new software instrument here, we click the little plus up here, we're gonna go software instrument. And if we go instrument, we can choose Alchemy here. And it will just be there for you guys, right at the top, nice and useful. If we click create, that's gonna give us a nice brand new channel. And we're gonna stick it at the bottom here for my own organizational purposes. And we'll name it White Noise Demo for you guys. Now to make a white noise sweep, you tend to just need one note. So in Logic here, I have my second control here set up as pencil. So if I hold command and click on bar 29, it's gonna give me a nice new pattern there. Notice how it's automatically colored a different color to everything else. If you wanna know how to do that in my Logic Pro videos series, which I'll link in the description below, there's one for setting up the automatic coloring and color grading of everything so it doesn't just come out green every time. So if we double click on that, we're just gonna give ourselves one note that opens in the piano roll. And honestly, like a C3 note will do us absolutely fine. And we're just gonna drag that out so it covers the four bars here. So you can see there where it starts and we just want to cover our four bars like so. Awesome source. If we now get Alchemy up. Now this has been updated fairly recently so this might have a slightly different workflow to what I'm going to show you but essentially you wanna get yourself to a blank patch. If we go to file, we have initialize preset. This used to say clear. So once we've done that, it takes us into the advanced tab. What we're gonna do real quick is just turn A off and we're gonna go into A here. We don't need this saw oscillator up here. So we're gonna turn that off and we have a noise oscillator down here. We'll turn that on. That's gonna reactivate A for us. And that gives us white noise. Now we have two parameters here. We've got the high cut and the low cut. We can automate those, but it's a lot easier if you put it through to the filter yourself. Um, what I'll tend to do is use the low cut just to take the real low body out, usually around sort of the 80, 90 hertz region, depending what I'm up to, because we're never gonna need that really no, low down noise. If you do, leave it in, but generally the mix just causes problems for you. So if we now go back to global, you'll see filter. We've got a low pass with a 12 decibel slope. I find the 24 dB slope to be a little bit more useful. And let's go for the edgy one in this case. So that's now controlled via the cutoff here, which is super cool. What we wanna do is probably control the drive, the resonance and the cutoff all in one go. So what I'll do is go to the inspector usually over here on the left. I'll change the automation mode from read to touch. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit play and we're just gonna do a tiny little movement on all three of those. And that's gonna make our three automation lanes. I find that a lot quicker than making them and assigning them myself. So that now would have assigned us three lanes, which is cool. We've put that back into read. Alchemy can go away for the minute. If we press A, we're gonna get our automation lanes up and you'll see here that it's made the three lanes for us. If we use our little drop down arrow on the left, boom, we've got everything we need. That's so much easier than making three lanes and assigning the parameters. I mean, if we click and just have a look for the alchemy parameters, uh, they could be like anywhere like, you know, it's just pain. So doing that really quick way to get them all assigned. To make the sweep, I think we're gonna go from low frequency to high frequency. So if we do something along these lines, notice again how I'm going to 80 there. Don't really need it to get any lower ever, but I just cut it out um, in the actual oscillator itself just so I can never really make a mistake. 
I think resonance, we'll have resonance high and then take it out quite quickly and we'll drive it right towards the end. And let's just hear what we've got. How easy was that? So let's just, for context, grab the, let's grab a little bit longer of the loop, should we? Let's go from 16 right the way through and we can get a feeling for how that's gonna work. That sort of does the job we're after, but it's a little bit uh, uninspiring and not too dramatic to the end. So some things I like to do, and it's completely optional in your part, but if we go to effects in here, let's switch this first one on. And what we're gonna do is pop a reverb on here. And if we just do, honestly, the acoustic reverb will do the job for us. I wanna have it mixed about 30% in. And we can leave the size and everything pretty large, I reckon. And then after that, we are going to put a delay on it. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, a little bit of a crossover, a little bit of a pan. Mix you in about 30% as well. There we go, a little bit more drama there for us and just a nice little white noise transition. Super easy to make using Alchemy. I hope the tutorial was helpful for you guys. If it was, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want more Logic videos, check out the playlist below. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video.